and welcome back to my channel. It is Smoked Alive, and today we are going over the Wet n Wild highlighters. So let's start with the star of the show, the Wet n Wild highlighters. Woo! So the first one is in Precious Petals. I do have it on right now. You can see that I'm very, very glowy. I have it on my chin, my cupid's bow, my nose, the tops of my cheekbones, and my forehead. So I got a lot of this on. It is a very beautiful champagne -y gold highlight with a little bit of hint of a rose gold actually. It is stunning. I don't know if you guys can see that. I hope so because I've been struggling with my lighting. I filmed this multiple times and it's either too light to where you can't see the highlighter or too dark and I look really weird. So this better be the lucky lucky charm. So it is right here. It is absolutely beautiful. And it is very comparable to MAC Soft and Gentle. Now, if you've been with me for a while, you know MAC Soft and Gentle is my favorite highlighter. Although, it is not anymore. I have moved on to better things. So, this is so comparable to MAC Soft and Gentle. MAC Soft and Gentle is right underneath here. The only difference is, like I said... Precious Petals has a hint of rose gold in it, and Soft and Gentle does not. Personally, I like the formula of the Wet n Wild ones more, which these run for $3.49 versus the MAC one, which I think is $32. It is so similar. The thing that I like about the Wet n Wild ones more is it does not have glitter specks in it like Soft and Gentle. I have noticed the more I've compared Soft and Gentle with other highlighters, this one is actually kind of chalky compared to the majority of other ones. Still a stunning highlighter and I do love it, but I'm sorry, the Wet n Wild one in Precious Petals takes the cake. So moving on to crown of my canopy, this is a beautiful, beautiful copper tone, rose goldy, Highlighter. I absolutely love this one. It is way too dark on my skin But here it is right here. If you guys can see it's a very like bronzy highlighter This is gonna be absolutely beautiful on darker skin tone tan skin tones But what I love to use this for is a blush topper. I do have it on today right over the top of my blush it's beautiful, it adds a very subtle glow to the cheeks. It's just, so even if you are a light tone girl, get this highlighter and use it as a brush overlay because it is so, so stunning. So now we're gonna move on to another highlighter. This is their Cream Stick Highlighter. It is called their Mega Glow Multi Stick. It is beautiful, oh, my gosh. Now, I have not used this on my skin with makeup so far. I've just put it on the top of my cheekbones and wore no foundation just to give me a natural glow and it's stunning. This is actually going to be perfect for you lighter skin tone girls. It looks like it's supposed to go with precious petals, but it does not. It's a lot lighter. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch this for you and... We'll see. <laughs> so it goes on very smoothly. It's very smooth and this has a hint of pink in it. I don't even know. It's just beautiful. To be honest, this is my favorite shade of all the highlighters and that is this guy down here. I don't know if you, you guys can see that a little bit. It's very subtle and it is catching the light and it's gorgeous. This reminds me of something Jay Kissa would wear. They do have one more shade in this, which I do not have, but even though I haven't tried it with a full face of makeup, I do think you should get your hands on this because they're so cheap and they're just so beautiful and stunning. And I have liked it in the ways that I've used it so far. Okay guys, so we got one more highlighter. This is the Wet n Wild Geometric Highlighting Powder. This is actually a limited, limited edition highlighter. And this is in the shade where the dreams go. This is a very, very cool highlighter. Like, it is awesome. It has pink gold, a yellow gold, and a blue in it. And I had such high hopes for this based off of using the other highlighters first. 
honestly, it sucks. It's horrible. Like, it's so chalky. Even just the swatch, it just straight up looks like a white chalky powder. It doesn't even swatch nice. Like, it's terrible. I absolutely do not recommend this one at all. I mean, if you want to get your hands on it just because it's cheap, go for it. But, I mean, there's no pigment. I mean, it's all over my hands. Like, look at this. Can you even see it? Like there's no, I can hardly even see it. And it's, there's like no highlighting power to it. It just gets glittery and chalky and just looks like crap. And I'm super bummed because I really am into the icy highlights. Those are my favorite. So I have really high hopes for this. Thinking that it was going to be super cool. Thinking maybe it would be a dupe for Mint Condition by uh, Jeffree Star because it has blue in it. No, mm -mm. do not get this. Okay, so that is all I have for the Wet n Wild highlighters. I hope you got a good little review, but I did want to add this product in this video. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Line Liquid Liner in the shade Case of Blue. It did come with the limited edition highlighter here. Get your hands on this. This is one of the best drugstore eyeliners I have used. I love it. It is better than the white Kat Von D liner that I reviewed that I hated. Like, I love this. They did such a good job. It is so pigmented. It is this really nice thin felt tip that you can fill in. It is not patchy and I'm just like, look at that. It is so beautiful and it is so cheap. They do have a white one, a pink one, and this periwinkle blue. I have only tried the periwinkle blue, but I stand by this and I absolutely think you should get it. I know it's not a highlighter, but I had to throw it in there because it's limited edition and you guys have got to get your hands on this. So I think that's all I have to say about the Wet n Wild highlighters. They're so cheap. They're absolutely stunning. They're very comparable to some high-end highlighters and they're also better than some high-end highlighters. I love them and if you can get your hands on them, get them. And I also have learned that the easiest place to get them is Walgreens.